So I said in yesterday's video that I wanted to compare Forza Horizon 2 to the crew. So I compiled a list of key elements that I think are very, very important for a racing game. So which one's better, the crew or Forza Horizon? So these two games are actually very similar. They're both open world driving games. They both have an enormous map, hell a lot of car customization, and some awesome racing. So let's talk about just that. The world in Forza Horizon 2 compared to the world in The Crew. Which one's better? For me, hands down, I think it's The Crew. First of all, there's the immense size of The Crew. The Crew, to go from one end of the map to the other, takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, depending on what car you're in and how good you are driving. In Forza Horizon, it takes around 15 minutes or so. So, first of all, on the world size, Crew wins big time. Some people might say, all that time driving from one end of the map to the other, you're just going to see the same things over and over. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. The crew has not done that. If you actually try it out and you drive around the crew, it is very, very accurate to like where you are actually in the world. Say you're in the Rocky Mountains, you're going to find like your snow. Say you go down to Florida, you're going to find like your mansion houses and like all your fancy boats and stuff. And then you're in LA, you find your hipsters. If you, if you just look at the landmarks alone, I made a whole landmark video just going around the crew, just looking at all the amazing landmarks. That was insane. So, crew wins hands down on the world. But, because the crew has such a crazy big world, they failed to actually pinpoint some of the smaller details. So, the graphics in the game aren't too great. They look like a, like a, quite a older game, like 2009 or so. Around there, like some of your older Need for Speed stuff. And when you compare it to some of the crazy amount of detail in Forza Horizon 2, there's no question. Forza Horizon 2 wins based on graphics, sound, and the finer details by far. So speaking of those finer details, if you want an example of how crazy the level of detail is in Forza Horizon 2, this is a picture of a Pagani Hawaira's engine. That is freaking ridiculous. Speaking of the cars, which one has a better car list? I would say I have to give it to Forza Horizon 2 again. The car list is just so big and so diverse when compared to the crew, it's crazy. But hey, what about what you can actually do with those cars? Which game has a better upgrade system? Here, both upgrade systems are actually very, very good, but I would just have to give it to the crew. Myself, personally, I like being able to make my cars look as unique as possible, and the crew definitely gives us that feature. The amount of body kits and things like that you can put on your car is absolutely insane. You can spec your car out any way you see fit. You can make it a raid car, you can make it an off-road car, you can make it a drift car, a race car, anything you could ever imagine, you can do it in the crew. So speaking of the cars and the upgrade system, it's a driving game. Which one drives better? Hands down, I have to give it to Forza Horizon 2. The physics in the crew just seem all wonky and out of whack. It just seems way, way too arcadey for my like. Uh, so definitely Forza Horizon 2 wins based on driving. So how about the online? Which one has a better online system? I would have to say the crew. Forza Horizon 2 has a very, very good online system, but the problem with it is, is that there's not enough things to do. For sure, it's really, really fun, but after a while, it gets very repetitive. The crew, on the other hand, because it has such a big and open world, there's pretty much an infinite number of things to do in the world with your friends. So for me, crew wins online. Neither of these games are perfect. Forza Horizon 2 does have its problems. It's not a true open world game. No matter how much they told us, yeah, it's a true open world game, you can go anywhere in the world. There's all these walls and barriers and invisible barriers that block you from actually going anywhere you want. So Horizon 2 needs a better world system. The crew, however, needs to fix its controls. The controls for the crew are all completely messed up, as well as the physics. The physics seriously, seriously need to be looked at. They're just very, very arcadey for someone like me, and it turns me off of the game, to be quite honest. So when it comes down to it, which one's better, Forza Horizon or The Crew? To be quite honest, it depends on the person. If you're someone who's into a more accurate driving simulator, go with Forza Horizon. You've got all your crazy tuning and everything like that. You can do all of that in Forza Horizon. But if you're someone who's not into tuning or anything like that, maybe you should go with The Crew and just drive in this crazy open world with your friends. So I don't really know. Depending on who you are, Forza Horizon 2 might be for you or The Crew might be for you. So anyways, guys, that is my take on Forza Horizon 2 versus the crew. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. Also, don't forget to share it around, post it to your friends and stuff, and see what they like better. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.